Hazrat Urwa bin Zubair narrates that Hazrat Usama bin Zaid radiyallahu anhu told him, One day Allah's apostle sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mounted the ace with a sheet woven in fadak on it and proceeded towards Banu Haris bin Khazraj in order to visit Hazrat Saad bin Ubada radiyallahu anhu while Hazrat Usama radiyallahu anhu was sitting behind him and it was prior to the battle of Badr. He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam set out until he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam passed by a gathering wherein Abdullah bin Ubay bin Salul was present and it was prior to Abdullah bin Ubay's apparently embracing Islam. That was a mixed gathering wherein the Muslims, the polytheists, adulterers and the Jews were all present. Hazrat Abdullah bin Rawaha was also present there amongst the Muslims. When the cloud of dust raised by the mount settled on the meeting, Ibn Ubay covered his nose with his mantle and said, don't stir dust to us. Allah's Apostle sallallahu alayhi wa sallam greeted them, stopped there, dismounted and invited them to Allah jalla jalaluhu and recited them the Qur'an. Abdullah bin Ubay Salul said, Sir, you are saying does not seem good to me. If it is truth, don't distress us by visiting our gatherings. And whoso comes to you, tell him these narrations. Hazrat Abdullah bin Rawaha said, O Allah's Apostle sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, why not? You may pay visit to our gatherings, for we like it. Thereupon there occurred altercation amongst the Muslims, the polytheists and the Jews, and they were going to fight, but Allah's Apostle sallallahu alayhi wa sallam kept coaxing them in observing silence until they became silent. Then Allah's Apostle sallallahu alayhi wa sallam set out riding his mount until he reached Hazrat Saad bin Ubadah radiyallahu anhu. So Allah's Apostle sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, O Saad, have you heard what Abu Hubab, Abdullah bin Ubay has said? Abdullah bin Ubay has passed such and such remarks. Hazrat Saad bin Abadah radiyallahu anhu submitted, O Allah's Apostle sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, may my father be sacrificed for you. Pardon him and excuse him, for by him who revealed the book to you, Allah jalaluhu will definitely bring forth the truth which he jalaluhu has revealed to you. The residents of this city had decided to crown him and to make him their chief. But when Allah Jalalahu disapproved it with the truth which he Jalalahu bestowed on you, he in jealousy does what you have observed. So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam forgave him and Allah's Apostle Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam as well as his companions would forgive the adulterers and the people of the book and exercise patience on their operations. As Allah Jalaluhu has said, undoubtedly, you shall certainly hear a good deal of bad things from the people of the book before you and from adulterers. And Allah Jalaluhu has said, many of the people of the book desired. So Allah's Apostle Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam continued overlooking them as Allah Jalaluhu had commanded him until he was accorded the permission to fight with them. So he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam fought the battle of Badr and Allah jalla jalaluhu killed the distinguished chiefs of the infidels of the Quraysh through him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam whereas Allah's apostle sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his companions returned victorious with booty as well as bringing the chiefs of the infidels and dignitaries of the Quraysh as captives. At that time Ibn Ubay Salul and his polytheists, idolaters Adulator's companions said, Now Islam has got supremacy. So they took an oath of allegiance to Allah's Apostle sallallahu alayhi wa sallam on Islam and embraced Islam apparently. Sahih Bukhari, Hadith number 6207